Okay, we're ready to go. 25 yards. We're going to shoot the dead center bullseye just in case. Bang. All right, it's Reloader Joe. We're back with another shooting video. And today we have the Mossberg Patriot in 30 6 This one with the wood stock. This is one of the nicest looking Mossberg rifles they've made so far. And the reason I got this one was open sights. As most of you may know, they sell these very inexpensively at places like Academy with a scope pre-mounted like a combo. The rifles that they uh, use for the scope combos are smooth barrels. No, no sights at all. You have to have a scope. I like the looks of open sights, especially with a, uh, especially with a scope. It has a nice classic look. Uh, and I wanted to use it open sights anyway. You know, we hunt relatively short distances. Unfortunately, the sights would not line up. Uh, it, when I would aim the rifle, it was as if the front sight was way too tall. Uh, I would put my cheek on the comb and that front sight would, it was like a good quarter inch above the uh, uh, the rear side. I, I could not get my face low enough on that to uh, line it up at all. So I, I had to put a scope on it. So I, <laughs> what better thing to put on a cheap rifle? I think this rifle was $429 with the open sights. Uh, I think I found this one on Bud's, Bud's Gun Shop, I believe. And it was either there or grab a gun. Um, and what, what better thing to put on a cheap rifle than a cheap old scope I had laying around in the garage never mounted probably about 20 years old a Simmons whitetail classic this is variable from 2 to 10 power okay so this rifle it has everything you'd expect a $400 rifle to have a plastic five shot magazine plastic trigger I wanted to show a close-up of this you have to push this in before it will let you squeeze the rest of the way you have to push that and then click also some things i like about this gun i love that it's 429 dollars and a walnut stock um, i love that i love the stippling instead of you know the checkered pattern uh, I, you know, they probably do it with a, a laser <laughs> or no, they, I, I'm pretty sure they do it with a press and I'm, I'm sure manufacturing wise, it's a lot cheaper and faster to make it this way. But it, you know, when you see checkered patterns, you know, this just looks different and it feels nice. Uh, you have that both on the foregrip and the hand grip. And I like, even though it's a plastic magazine, I, it, I love how easy it, it slides in and out, um, and the the bolt pa the pattern on the bolt looks nice, and the action is very smooth. So I hope this rifle does really well. Uh, I I have I'm gonna be really pleased if we can get this to shoot good. So uh, what are we gonna shoot out of a cheap rifle with a cheap scope? We're gonna shoot cheap ammo. This is a Wolf 30-06. We have both 140 grain and we have a box of 168 grain. These are both soft point. We like to hunt. So let's okay. give this a shot. We're going to start with the Wolf 140 grain soft point. These are 30-06. And Here's here's what these <laughs> here's what these things look like. 
I, you know, they've got a weird ridge in the base. And, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Steel case, you know. that is that what this gun deserves? You know, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh, that snaps in nice. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Uh, I'm just going to load three. First time we've ever fired. Uh, you know, we're going to see where we're hitting. So that way we can, if we're good enough, if we're, we're close enough, we'll just go ahead and push it back to the 50-yard mark and try some groups there. Okay, wolf, 140 grain. Snap, that clicked right in. Okay, well cameraman, it's time to put our hearing protection on. This one's gonna be louder than the 4440 Winchester. Yep. <laughs> okay, you got it? Yep. Let's go. I'm gonna aim for the very center bullseye. All right. Safety's on. Uh, yeah, that, that wolf Russian ammo, it, it cycled, it cycled smooth in there. So let's see where it puts this bullet on the paper. Okay, first, first shot ever with the Mossberg. Okay, it's just to the, uh, I can see it. It's just a bit to the uh, left of center and we don't have to worry about reloading these. It ejected good. All right, the safety's back on. We'll go ahead and fire the other two. I saw a branch fall down back there. I saw it. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let, let's go take a look. We're, we're on paper. That, there's the first. Uh, that's the second one, and there's the uh, third. Um, well, we, we may leave it at 25 yards, see if we can tighten our group up. We'll go ahead and fire more of the 140 grains right here. Right now, we're just trying to play around, shoot the gun, have fun, try some various factory loads. I like to try factory loads before I try hand loads, but we will be hand loading for this once we burn through a lot of factory ammo uh, in some videos <laughs> and tests. So we'll uh, put some, uh, we'll start putting some hand loads to the test against uh, whichever uh, factory ammo shoots we, well. We cut a tree down with our, <laughs> <laughs> One shot. Holy cow. Look at that. Look at it over here. Man. Oh, this thing has thorns on it. Is this, um, I don't know. It's got some nice thorns on it. Look at that. There's the uh, direction. <laughs> wow. Where, where was this thing? It's a clean cut. It is. I don't, what was it? Oh, oh, look. <laughs> There's, there it is, right here. Let me see that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it cut this tree plumb in half. Holy cow. Nice. <laughs> that is a lucky shot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try three more shots at the upper right um, bullseye. Uh, that was about a one inch group, three shots. I'm gonna do three shots this video for the sake of time. Um, one inch group on that first one. Let's see if we can, you know, tighten it up. You know, getting used to the rifle. That was the first three shots ever. Um, if we can still get an inch group 
at 100 yards <laughs> with cheap Russian steel cased ammo. That's that's not bad. Uh, but let's see what we can do. You know, the more we get used to it, the better we'll get, hopefully. So we're going to load three more. One, two, three. I need to break the habit of lifting the first shot off the sandbag. I need to keep the rifle on the sandbag. That should improve accuracy. But gosh, I don't know what I do that for. I've got a habit. So we're going to work consciously on breaking that habit. All right, let's put our ears on. Yeah. Was that pretty loud? Pretty. Yeah. Was it pretty quiet with your, your ears though? Yeah. Okay. Um, whenever I shot it, yeah. you know how like some guns, you don't like feel the vibration on the ground, mm -hmm. but you can sort of just feel it. You can feel the shock of the, yeah. yeah. Did you? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. 30 out six is no joke. Three shots, upper right bullseye. Turn the camera over here. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see our, our peanut gallery? <laughs> we'll see if these guys stay put after we fire this. All right, let's <laughs> bring it back around. <laughs> All right. Upper right-hand corner, three shots. Yeah, that's better, but let's go down and check it out. Even with three shot groups, I always pull one. <laughs> that's not bad though. We, we tighten that up pretty good. That's, that's much closer. Um, our, our peanut gallery there, they, they, <laughs> I think they kind of distracted me. I was, I was kind of paying attention to them too. Um, so yeah, that's, let's, that, not bad. Let's put the 168 grain in. And let's let's try it up here in this corner. Thanks for watching the Reloader Joe video. Please like and subscribe. Over and out.